All right, we are at a new cave today. We weren't planning on coming to this one. We're on our way back from a cliff diving trip up in Oregon and we found out this was on our route home. So we had to check it out. I get a lot of hate in my comments for not showing the locations to the places that I go. And that's for good reason, because a lot of the time the wrong people will go, they trash the place, they leave glass, they'll spray paint, and then ultimately they get the places shut down. I wish there was a way to weed out the good from the bad people and you know, give the location out to the people I know will respect it. But for that reason, I keep the places private, except for this one. This one is in Lava Bed Monument, which is a national park. So anyone can find this place. This one specifically is the Catacombs, which is the most intricate and difficult cave here out of the hundreds of caves that exist here. So we figured why not go for the hardest one? It's also the longest single cave entrance in all of California. All of California. Yeah, this one is pretty crazy. We got a map. It is just crazy. It's all over the place. And I feel like there's a good chance we're going to get lost, even though we have a map. But regardless, let's get this one started. All right, here we go. How long ago did they say these were formed? 500,000 years ago. 500,000 years ago. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> okay, I'm used to the caves that kind of just go yeah, one so way. Big. We already have one, two, three, four different ways to go. Let's consult the map. It seems like they all kind of go the same route. So it doesn't matter which way we go. We're gonna come to this little choke point. I would say let's try to stay to the right. So this way. Actually, no, that's not a way. No, that's this little loop guy right here. Okay. <laughs> Immediately in the cave, there's all these different ways to go. Gotta pick away and start going. When I went inside to show her my national park pass, she told me that it takes like up to six hours to do the whole thing. Six hours to do this whole thing. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if I want to be in here that, that long, but we'll, we'll see how this We're goes. Committed. It's cold in here. I know. I'm glad I'm well, you can see all of this used to be right there. Okay, <laughs> we've come to another split. I'll flash the map up on the screen so you can see where we're at. We're at this little spot right here. And what are we gonna do, go right? Yeah, we're staying right. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna stay right. That's the plan and we're sticking to it. From my understanding, the way all of these caves have formed is from the lava flowing through. And then whenever it cools down on the outsides, it hardens and then all the hot lava in the center keeps going and it leaves these open pathways for us, which is kind of cool. Man, it is really cold. I'm gonna drop some knowledge about the cave for you. Let's hear it. So the catacombs wasn't discovered until 1918 and an explorer by the name of J.D. Howard was actually trying to escape a blizzard. And while he was sheltering himself from the blizzard, he felt a cold wind coming up from underneath him and he dug around and there was a rat's nest. He moved the rat's nest and he found parts of the entrance to the cave. And that's how he discovered this over a hundred years ago. Yeah, I think it was 1918. Yep. So it's just over a hundred years ago. That's pretty wild. So we are going to stay to the right. These are so sharp. And it's already getting pretty small. All right, the cave is getting pretty tight already. Do we rock, paper, scissors? Who goes first? Yeah. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoot. shoot. Wait, Wait so what they... does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> does I... that mean like if you lose, you go? Or if you win, you get to go? I'll just go. It's me and my flip flops. These are not <laughs> flip flops, okay? I A lot of people are like, why are you wearing flip flops? They're Vibrams. And yeah, you can wear caving boots. That's super smart to protect your foot. However, we both decided we prefer having the dexterity and the flexibility. Yeah, I'd rather feel what I'm stepping on and being a lot more nimble than have big clunky boots yeah. and not feel what I'm stepping on. But so, you know, personal preference. There's the lens. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
Made it through. First nice tight spot. Oh man. You wanna hand me that light? Alright, it opens up down here. I've never been in a cave with so many options on different ways to go. It drops down a lot over here. There's a big pit. That's kind of crazy. Somebody built little stairs down there so you can get down. The ceiling is amazing looking. Broken glass everywhere. This is the reason why places Maybe are kept protected. secret. Me. Okay. I don't know how much I trust this pile of rocks as a staircase. Oh yeah, they go. <laughs> this one goes somewhere. That one doesn't look like it. Uh, let me check this one. It's just really small. But the ceiling looks so crazy right here. Okay, these spots are super tiny and we kind of want to stick to one single route because there's so many different options here. So I'm going to climb back up out of the pit and we're going to continue on the same little lava tube that we were going on. Okay, this is the part where I would never want boots. Vibrams, so much easier for climbing. This is nice. I like that we can stand up right now. No. I thought it was going to be much smaller than this when we got this deep. Man, this just goes forever. It's a little over a mile long, mm -hmm. what the map says. I wonder how far we've gone. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> uh, okay, well, right when we got comfortable standing, <laughs> it is not going to let us stand anymore. That's okay. All right, back through another small spot. If you watched my previous video, I either bruised or broke a rib, and that was only two days ago. If you haven't seen the previous video, I jumped off of a log that was 60 feet up, and I under-rotated and landed on my face and my chest. Uh, but yeah, actual life-wise, that was only two days ago, even though video-wise it was a week ago. Hey. Okay. <laughs> Are you ready for this? <laughs> so cozy. Uh -huh. Through the tight spot and back to almost standing up. Crazy to think that there was super hot lava cruising through here. Oh, that gets real small. Oh my God, look at this place to the right. We can stand. Uh, no, we can't. Look at these. It's just off from all the, all the lava just dripping down. There's the shark tooth ones, little ones. Yeah, the shark tooth stalactites. Okay, so as far as the map goes, I have no idea where we are anymore. I have kind of an idea, but I'm not exactly sure. This thing is never ending. Yep. Right here. Whoa. This is sick. All right, we have another Let's choice here. So consulting the map, I'm pretty sure we are around this spot right over here. I think that's where we're at. The first smooth floor we've seen since we've been in here. Okay, I just had to run back really far by myself because I left my phone like an idiot. <laughs> I don't have to go back and find Crystal. I was trying to hurry up and crawl. 
Too slow. Man, I wonder what the first guy thought when he was coming through here. But he allegedly only went a thousand feet into the cave when he first discovered it. I mean, I don't blame him. Okay, this is amazing. We can go up or we can go down. I think we should keep going down that way. This looks so cool in here. It does look really cool. This might be the tightest section I've seen yet. You can go up this way too. There's a little secret room up top. So on a map, we're in this section right here. Going through this little area goes to the last little bit. It doesn't look like we have too much more to go. And then if you look up in here, that is the crossover. So that'll take us over to the other side of the cave for the way back. I'm not sure if we're gonna do that or go back the way we came, but we'll figure that out. We're gonna try to make it to the end here. 10 more feet. <laughs> 10 more feet. We just went through a very, very long, awful crawl. Well, oh. She's still in it, way down in there. Oh. <sighs> Move the light, grab a couple inches. Just two more feet and then some freedom. Oh, a nice big room. Yes. Thank goodness. So close. Getting to the point where my claustrophobia says no, but my brain and crystals say yes. As much as I do want to leave right now, it's like we're so close to the end, we got to keep going. All right, just like in the hellhole video, I've got to give some perspective here. This thing, just about the size of my foot and not much bigger than that. This is what we got to go through. Mental endurance at its finest right now. This is ridiculous. I'm coming for you. <laughs> Here. Take it. I'm trying. Take it. Take it. There we go. Oh, it's me. I'm so bright. Okay. You look really cute. Thanks. I feel so cute right now. I've never <laughs> felt cuter, actually. Look at how cute he is, guys. So cute. <laughs> okay, I'm going to crawl back in reverse now. Like a worm. <laughs> oh my god, my back is scraping. You got it. Just like three and a half more feet. I got a thing skinny. Oh, oh, water just dripped on my head. Okay. All right. That was. That was awesome. Fun. He meant to say that it was awesome. How you doing? Oh, living the life, you know? This is just mental endurance right now. We're both getting kind of tired mentally. <laughs> Ouch. It gets big. We're here. We're here. This is it. Brandon, this is it. This is it. Wait, did we make it? We made it. This is it for oh sure. You gonna grab my hand headlamp for me? <gasps> we made it. Okay, cause I see the capsule. The registry. The registry. Thank you. Thank God. My claustrophobia had had enough long ago in this case. <laughs> I feel like this is the part where we have to say some inspirational message, like just when you want to give up, keep going. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. <laughs> Look at it. I never thought I'd see the day. <laughs> Oh my god, thank you so much for... I, I don't even know. I, I can't even talk. Ooh. I'm proud of this one. Yeah, this one was well earned. I was over this cave a long time ago. I wanted to leave. It's our baby. But she's psycho and made me keep going. I was just trying to be positive. You do the honors. Let's see this baby. <gasps> Stinks of victory. This is the registry for everyone who's made it to the end. You are currently at the end of Catacombs Cave. This cave is one of the longest, most complex cave within Lava Beds National Monument. Cave softly. The last person that was in here, Bryce, my light literally just died. Using the lighter? Uh, if I had to get out of here with a lighter, I would, 
I would cry. Someone wrote, Dan and Christine, last year, honeymoon 2019. What a That's honeymoon. a cool couple. I'm so excited. Okay. Today is June. Uh, June 7th. Crystal and Brandon, number and party, two. Well, it's official. We made it. We've been in here for a very long time. Over a mile of crawling and hunched over walking to get back out of here. All right, we're starting our way out now and it is gonna be a long journey. I definitely don't have enough battery to film all of it, but I'll film the crazy spots. Oh, that's not even the way we came from. We came from this way. We're not off to a great start. That is the register over there. There's a way to go that way. There's a way to go that way. A way to go that way. Wow. All of which are wrong. <laughs> this is the way we came from, so. We took two wrong guesses already, just starting from the very last room. We have over a mile to go and we cannot miss any turns. Oh no, here's the really tight spot again. I'm in it. I'm in the thick of it right now. Can't see anything really. I was gonna see an app right here. I found the other GoPro and the dead battery. So we're on the right track, but we got a long ways to go. All right, we're still on our way out right now. You can see Crystal coming through. Haven't filmed much because honestly, this is really, really tough getting out of here. We're both super exhausted, not motivated to film a lot, but I'm trying. I think we're maybe halfway out. Oh. This part's kind of nice. Oh, wow. Just casually walk upright for once. It's been a long time since we've been able to do that. Okay, so we're at another split and I can't remember which way. Honestly, I'd, I want to go right just because it looks more tall. Whoa, you should come this way. I found some stairs. Look, there's like a giant Whoa. something over there and there's stairs. Sick. I don't understand why there's stairs this deep in the cave, but I say we go check it Another out. Conundrum. What? Very cool. Okay, well. It gets to view the... What is this? It looks like that's just all fenced off for safety. Oh yeah, cause it's a deep, deep hole. So this just must be one of the areas that a lot of people make it to when they come in here. This is pretty nice. I think we chose the most difficult way we could have gone. Today, the most difficult way in the most difficult case. This seems like a friendly way. Yeah. This way seems way nicer. What? <laughs> this is so casual. That's okay. Of course. We wanted, we wanted a challenge, we got a challenge. Uh, I don't know if that goes anywhere. It's musky. That's really tight back there. It's a little in there. I'll go check it out another time, but we've been in here for hours. It's probably been about, in my head, I'm guessing close to four and a half hours, five hours maybe, oh, of yeah. just living underground. Almost at Nat Geo levels. We probably should have kept going the way we came from. Oh, the best sign ever Woo! when you're in a cave. Oh, the light. Honestly, not many things compared to the feeling that we're getting right now. Oh my goodness, that was an intense cave. I can barely see. My eyes are so adjusted to the cave. Back out to civilization. Well, I guess this isn't civilization. It's kind of the middle of nowhere, but you get it. What I you doing there? I love you ground, <laughs> above ground world. It's a lot nicer out here. <laughs> so much better. No, I, I don't thought hear you. because we're in a national park, it would be easy for some reason yeah that was pretty intense i can't imagine too many people doing that but there was a lot of names in that registry at the bottom well we're walking back to the car now but thank you guys so much for watching that one was such a spontaneous adventure for us we didn't plan on going caving like i said this was just a cliff diving trip it was nice to get a little catacombs adventure in i honestly would never have made it to the end if it wasn't for her because i was so over it i was so claustrophobic i wanted to be done more videos coming caves cliff don't Caves, cliff jumping, everything. Well, we're back at the car. Here's my timer that I started. 
one hour and one minute it took us from the very end of the cave all the way back to the car and we were moving as quick as possible crystal's timer she started oh. i started 20 minutes late so she started this one about 20 minutes after we got into the cave so we were in there for almost four hours which is pretty gnarly oh i need a snack give me that give me that there we go thank you okay peace guys